Well, hello, my friends. Today we are in Evansville, Indiana at the Dream Car Museum. I can't wait to see what they have in here. Everything's guaranteed authentic. Let's go check it out. Days with Jordan the Lion begins now. Well, they're winning me over with this already. Yeah, this should definitely be a pretty cool experience. Let's go inside and start the tour. Well, I did read online that everything on display is now for sale so they can make room for new things. So if anybody wants to buy this, I wouldn't mind a ride in it. Oh, it says this is a 1976 Jawa factory ice racer. It was used for Russian ice racing. Huh, take a look at that. Oh, and this has a picture right here saying that this was Johnny Blaze's stunt bike from the movie Ghost Rider, the Nicolas Cage movie. It's pretty interesting. Now this one says this is on any Sunday, genuine Steve McQueen desert bike. It says includes his actual MX boots, leathers, helmets, and goggles. So that's all Steve McQueen stuff. And that's what that sign right there says even. It says it's the same equipment McQueen is seen wearing in the movie on any Sunday. Note the hand painted insignia on the sides of the helmet. Let's see. Oh yeah. And there's our proof. And here's a better uh, side view of all the McQueen stuff. Now this one right here is from Triple X. I actually never saw that movie, but they said this is a custom paint job. And this was a prop bike um, with paperwork from Columbia Pictures. Oh, that's pretty cool. That's an Indian board tracker. And it says this is not the replica version, this is an actual one. That's pretty cool, man. And then right next to it's a Triumph. We know James Dean loved the Triumph. That was his last bike. This is a 1976. This one's pretty cool. This is a 1962 BMW with a sidecar. Oh, that's interesting. That's a 1929 BMW motorcycle. That thing looks great. Okay, well, it looks like the museum continues down here. I'm seeing some evil Knievel right there. All right, let's go through the turnstile. Oh, Colonel Sanders. A cowtail machine? Never knew such a thing existed. Oh, this uh, seat that he's sitting on is actually made from the tail end of a 1962 Cadillac. Huh. Wow, this place is incredible. Look at this. Look at this display. This counter that they're uh, operating the diner out of is uh, actually part of a real 1963 Corvette. And look, they've got the Borden's ice cream. Borden's ice cream. It says, this chandelier is from the dining room of actress, singer, and dancer Debbie Reynolds, mother of Carrie Fisher. And then over here we have a couple of signed guitars for sale. Top one being Eric Clapton, dated 1995. This one is the Rolling Stones. And this one on the pit guard is signed by Chuck Berry. Okay, we're gonna continue into here. It's like a tire shop. Wow, it's like walking into a 
full service station. And in here it says 1971 Demon. Or, man, if you're looking to buy a gas pump for your house, this is your place. Here they even have this mannequin painting the gas pumps. See, this is great because they don't just have the cars like laid out. They actually have them in a theme, in a setting. It's pretty cool. All right, let's move on. They've got this uh, little kid's toy. Like the, uh, you put the money in and it moves around. And they actually have a Batman one. Which is pretty cool, the old Batmobile. And then, I loved this. It's already been sold, but it says the ultimate barn find. Stored in a barn for more than 40 years. Wow. It's called a Corvette Bible. God, can you imagine? Man, what a find. And if you look back there by those gas pumps, you can see a little uh, Darth Vader in a ticket selling booth. Now this is really cool. It says 1967 Camaro RS, the first year of the Camaro. And they have the exact one right there. Original paint and everything it looks like. Looks like he's getting a ticket too. <laughs> wow. Of course it's been sold. Who wouldn't? I mean, man, that's a beauty. Now we're working our way along a little bit further. See, like I said, I just love the fact that they have all these old gas pumps and everything kind of setting a mood while you're in here. The old drive-in movie theater speakers right there. I assume that's what those are supposed to be. The 1979 El Camino Conquista. Says it's only got under 10,000 miles. Oh wow, check out that Thunderbird, that's cool. Great color. Looks like an Indiana state cruiser looking type vehicle, but it's a Challenger. Cause it's got these uh, kind of fake now as we go further, it says right back there, an actual one from the show, as seen on TV, driven by John Schneider and Tom Wopat, says it right there, a real General Lee. How about that? And it's for sale. Pretty cool. Look, they've even got Daisy and Uncle Jesse over there. Not the same Uncle Jesse that you guys are probably thinking of, but... Oh, look! Boss Hogg's back there, too. Now, this actually says right here, it's a 1971 Volkswagen Super Beetle restored as Herbie the Love Bug, so it was not one of the originals used in the movie. But I do like the, uh, the big guy holding a sandwich in the background. That's pretty cool. And then this, this wrecked one, says this is from Fast and the Furious. Flat tire and all. It can be yours. Nineteen seventy Dodge Charger. Now this car is called a midget. What about this car? It's a British car. Reminds me of the car kind of that uh that's in back to school that Philip drives because it was black but similar. Now check out this. And on the other side of it they actually have a mannequin of Willie Nelson. <laughs> and it's sold.
that? Now that's a 1972 Corvette. It's pretty cool. And then right over here we have a 1988 30th, 35th anniversary Corvette. <laughs> This is the uh, same type of car. I don't think it's the same one, but the same type that Ted Danson drives in a fine mess with Howie Mandel. Same color and everything. All right, here's a 64 Impala set up in a drive-in service type setting. And then a 2015 Toymakers Dodge Challenger. I don't know about that one, but I do know about this one. That's awesome. 66 Dodge Coronet. And then uh, we got a boat over here. Now we're going to move along the museum. This is called a Herder Dual Fold Flying Fish. And a little midget youngling over here. Now this is just showroom number one. We have quite a bit more to see. I just said to myself, I could use the bathroom while I'm here. So I walked in the bathroom, I got freaked out. I saw this guy sitting here. I saw this lady underneath. <laughs> Creepy. Check this stuff out. They even got a little barber shop set up here. And this desk is half a car too. Arnold. Oh, take a look at that. That's kind of cool. Now the second half of the museum, you actually go across the street and it's titled Building 2. Well, building 1 was awesome, the layout and everything, all the stuff inside was cool. I can't wait to see what they have in Building 2. I recognize that guy immediately. Let's see what this is all about. So this looks like by all this paperwork that this is uh, a former car of Dale Earnhardt. You can see the making of the three. This is the three. That's pretty cool. What's he doing with that? Nineteen twenty six Model T. I kind of thought that was that, but I'd never seen one quite that color. And here we have a Red Crown tow truck, Red Crown gasoline station, kind of like we saw in the Allen County Museum. It looks like somebody already bought this one. Imperial sedan. That's snazzy. The foot plates and everything on there, those are cool. I like that. Now, I've never actually seen one of these in person, I don't believe. A 1931 Model A. I've always heard of a Model A, but I don't believe I've ever seen one in front of my very own eyes. That's awesome. I love the color changes and everything in that. You've even got the orange and the trim up here. That's a beauty. And here we have a 1912 Model T, known as the Tin Lizzie. Says, this changed the way Americans live, work, and travel. That's true, I remember reading when I was in school that 
Henry Ford was such a visionary that he gave a deal to all of his employees so that they could buy one of his cars because he knew even if I give him a discount, they'll all be buying my cars and all be driving my cars. It's not only free advertisement, but it's also sales. Kind of crazy seeing a car with no real doors or anything in it. Just, you could flop right out the side. Then we have a really cool big boy. I don't believe this is the, there is a difference. You can tell a difference in the look. This looks more like the Frisch's style big boy than the Bob's big boy. And right over here, we have a 1941 Super Deluxe. Man, that's a beauty also. Convertible. Look at the grill. It's like cranberry interior. And right here they have a pretty extensive bicycle collection. Just not, not really my thing. They do look good, they do look really cool. I mean, especially this one. They have that old style look to them, kind of like, I mean for me it was seeing Pee Wee's Big Adventure, you kind of see he was the first person to ever have like an out of the ordinary bicycle. And they look cool, I'm just not much into bicycles. That's a great Route 66 sign, but what's even kind of cooler, even though he was a total a-hole when I met him, is uh, they have their seats here, and I'm guessing they're from Yankee Stadium, signed by Reggie Jackson, Mr. October. He even put his Hall of Fame 1993 up there. And then on this other one that's attached says, to the Dream Car Museum. Pretty recently, May 19th, 2018. Huh. Maybe he can be a nice guy when he wants to be. Wow, look at all these gas pumps. I have no use for them, but man, they are beautiful. Look at them when you kind of display them like this. Now that is a cool bicycle. I, I will admit this one is beyond cool. Here's a uh, 1900 gas cart, gas pump cart. So then to wheel this out to your car to fill it up. I've never seen that before. Huh. Then you've got some Serve yourself popcorn machine. Look at that guy on the side. Oh, look at that, that Sinclair oil pump. Wow, that is nice. They certainly don't look like that anymore, man. That's a bummer. Oh, even this Shell Station one's pretty nice. And then Poly Gas, never heard of Poly Gas. And Owls used cars. Now this is interesting, I did not know that George Steinbrenner and the Yankees sponsored drag cars. But, apparently they must have because you can see right there it says Steinbrenner on it. It's got the Yankee logo. It says Yankees all the way down the front. It's a long one too.
Oh, this one's actually signed by the racer. And check out this Mustang. That's like, that's like a model kit Mustang. When you buy a model kit, that's the Mustang they always want you to make. That racing stripe down the front. What is this? Um, they don't have a, they don't have a placard or anything. Is this a 66? I feel like it's, it's somewhere between 64 and 66. And then let's see what's going on with this one. This kind of nondescript Cadillac. It wasn't the same one used in the movie Casino, but it says it's the same exact model as the one that they used in Casino. I was wondering. And then right behind it, they actually have one of Rusty Wallace's race cars that was driven by both him in 2005 and then in 2006 by Kurt Busch. Both really legendary race car drivers in NASCAR. Looks like he had a little trouble here, huh? Little fender bender there. Still got Kurt Busch's name on it. And then we've got a signature up here. Kind of cool to uh, to get a look inside. Look at all that uh, head protection in there. Gosh, you almost you have like almost no room. I mean, that's like there's like almost no room in there to move around. If you're claustrophobic, you would hate this. <laughs> you can see they removed the wheel, but. And I think we've pretty much seen everything in this half as well, other than the some odd 300 gas and oil pumps they have. Yeah, great museum. Really great museum. I think it was $10 to enter, if I'm not mistaken. Totally worth it. Totally worth it. As I was getting ready to leave, I looked over and I said, wait a minute, isn't that a Jeff Gordon car hood? I know he drove for DuPont. I'm pretty sure that's whose signature that is right there. And they've got a Jesus Save sign up here for some reason, just in case you need it. So here, look at this. Look who all signed this guitar. Mick Jagger, Keith Richards, Tom Petty, Neil Young, Ozzy, Steven Tyler from Aerosmith, Eric Clapton, Sting, Lindsey Buckingham from Fleetwood Mac, John McVie from Fleetwood Mac, Pete Townsend, Marty Balin, Jimmy Page from Led Zeppelin, Graham Nash, and here's the guitar. Wow, that's pretty cool. All right, my friends, we are out of here. Hope you guys enjoyed this. Well, that's gonna do it for us here, guys. If you're ever in Evansville, Indiana, make sure you stop by here. It's totally worth your time. They have a great collection. It doesn't take too long to get through. And the way they display it just adds to the experience. So I highly recommend the Dream Car Museum. Have a great night, everyone. We'll see you tomorrow. Goodbye.